They have been the number one ranked team in college basketball. Off the glass, Sauce throws it down. Timmy attacking. Offensively, they are absolutely lethal. Oh, hammer inside. This is what they do. This is why they're number one in the country. It's exactly right. How do you explain the way you guys have just absolutely run past in a second gear the competition? I just think we've been playing pretty much the way we've been playing all year. Right? We've definitely been, uh, you know, what I call in attack mode on both ends of the floor. I think it's important that to acknowledge, I mean, our defense has been really, really good in, in all four of these games. That'll do it. Gonzaga is going to the final four. For the second time in school history. All right, so I want to go through a couple of these guys. You just tell me what they have meant to this team. And I'll just start, obviously, with Corey Kispert. I mean, he's the heart and soul of our team. Kispert, bang, picture perfect. This is everything college basketball should be about. Kispert knocks down another one. That shot is as pure as it gets. Drew Timmy, the swag of this team. And, and what, we walk into any game and we're carrying Drew swag with us. And at this point, everybody knows it's not a fake swag, it's real. And uh, so there's no fear. He does it all. Timmy spins and finishes. He's made for March. Jalen Suggs. Just fierce talent, uh, competitive spirit, the willingness to just go for it <laughs> in any uh, moment in time. Suggs crosses over on Hill. Wow, Suggs attacking as he has all year. He has a championship attitude right now. So Mark, obviously no one loves being in this controlled environment. How has that helped this team remain laser focused? We've just basically like all been living in the same house for 18 days. The level of bonding and and and, and look, you can only do so many other things in, in this bubble. And so you're spending a lot of time. The preparation, you are able to meet, you're able to get full attention. But I mean, we're all living on the same floor. It's like we're just in a big frat, you know, for the last three weeks. So. That, that would be the positive of the, uh, the frat experience, you know, amidst the dirty laundry and the, I always, I'm like the dad that's making them clean up all the time. They are unbeaten. Number one seed overall. Gonzaga goes to 30 and all. Mark, I know you've never been focused on being undefeated. What would that mean to happen, obviously, on Monday night? It's just really not something that's on my mind or on my team's mind. It's literally not talked about at all amongst us. Our guys aren't focused on it. I'm not focused on it. We're just dialed into beating UCLA. Somehow, some way, and then, and then work our way into that championship game and, and have a shot at the national championship.